When I was a Muslim, I used to pray five times a day at the mosque. After one prayer session, I felt an inexplicable sensation in my heart that I do not understand. So I prayed to God, asking for guidance to discern the true path between Islam and Christianity. That night I heard a voice calling me by my name, urging me to stand up and follow him. The voice said he wanted me to be his ambassador and instrument that he could use. The next morning, I arranged my clothes and left them in my mother's room. Then on Sunday I attended a church, but the pastor was surprised to see me there, knowing I was a committed Muslim. He questioned my presence, and I expressed my desire to convert to Christianity. However due to fear and apprehension from the church community, he asked me to leave because the people in the church were afraid of me, because of my past history as a devout Muslim. The following day, my father heard about my intentions. He confronted me and asked if what he heard was true. I said it is true. This got my father angry. He threatened to harm me. Then he brought out a machete and said he was going to cut off my head. So he asked me the second time, and fearing for my life, I have no other choice than to deny. That same night, Jesus appeared to me again, he called me his son and urged me to follow him. While he spoke to me, he also told me he is the way, the truth and the life. In fear for my life, I left home with only a few belongings, spending the night under a mango tree. By morning, I managed to find a ride to Lagos. In Lagos, I encountered a pastor who eventually brought me to the school I am presently in now, located in Jaws. Here in Jaws, I am being guided and disciplined by my teachers, Jaibrilu and Okache, who has told me more about Jesus Christ. I am grateful to God for preserving my life. My name is Amos Abubakar Musa, originally from Zuru. Badakare.